Hey gang, this is Dwayne from ITMasterKey.com and today we're going to talk about the difference between a brute force attack and a dictionary attack. So a dictionary attack goes through every word in the dictionary from A to Z, literally starting at aardvark, I think that's the first word, and then ending at zebra, whatever the last word is. It'll literally go through every single word in the dictionary and try and use that as your password. So it'll start at aardvark and it'll go all the way down until it gets to the last word in the dictionary. Now, a brute force attack, the difference is, is that instead of just using dictionary words, it'll use every different kind of combination it can think of. So it'll use aardvark1, aardvark2, aardvark123, exclamation point, aardvark12345, pound sign. So it literally use every different kind of combination you can think of. Whether it's a dictionary attack or a brute force attack, it'll literally keep on guessing until it guesses it. Good news is with most online platforms, it has a lockout mechanism. So if you put in the wrong password three to five times, it's going to lock out your account. So these attacks are probably better suited for offline files. So let's say that a person has access to a PC and they download a file or a folder. That way, if they go to their home network or go to another network, they can literally run this brute force attack or the dictionary attack on this file or folder forever. It may take an hour. It may take... A couple days, it may take a couple years, but this will just keep on guessing, keep on guessing, keep on guessing. Okay, so that was the difference between a brute force attack and a dictionary attack. Other than that, I'll see you in class.